Trees in Africa show, we are going to look at an invention by a Frenchman named Jacques Gosque. It's a little device called the Irigosque, and I'm going to plant a tree today and you'll see how it works. Uh, what happens is the water, as you can see, is directed directly to one side of this bag. The side of the bag is which you plant the tree at. This is said to uh, help the roots grow much faster and stronger and thereby make the tree grow quite a bit faster. So we're going to take a look at it today. Join us as we plant a tree. Yeah. This line of trees is only one year old, and you can see it grown quite tall in that year. But there's a couple that are missing due to growth problems, and I want to test the ear gask out by planting one with and one without, and we'll see the results later. I first came across this. Uh invention in the April 2007 edition of the CTA publication Spore. And I thought, wow, that looks pretty interesting. I'd like to see a little bit more about it. And it took a couple attempts at uh, getting a hold of Mr. Gusk as I passed through Dakar. And finally, I was able to meet him recently. And uh, hear a lot more about the how it works. The basic idea as outlined here in the article is that the ear gas allows the moisture levels to remain nearly constant down to a depth of almost one meter. It talks about the roots quickly reaching down into the deep moist soil allowing the plants to grow rapidly with no need for supplementary watering. This uh, eliminates the risk of hydric stress problem which causes significant losses of masses waste of water. Whoa, oh, watch the bit here. Its success rate of over 95% enables farmers to count on a guaranteed source of income. Ma, how are you? I'm John. Yo, Kendra. That moon do not like you, but I'm hungry. Ah, yo. Yeah. Good no, Good name, Person there. Yeah. Notice that I insert the ear gas with the holes uh, pointed to, to my right hand side, the left hand side of the pitcher, where I'll plant the tree there on the left hand side. That allows the water to form the moisture envelope right around the tree. There's a line there on the black plastic cup that shows you how far down to plant it and how far to fill the soil in the, in the inside. And they say that uh, later on you'll have to put a little bit more soil in as it settles in, inside the plastic tube. One of the real big difficulties about planting trees here is uh, the amount of things that either try to destroy them or eat them, fire and cows. So getting a tree to a, a good size in a short amount of time is an important thing. If this ear gas works as it says it should, it should bring you know, trees quickly. They won't be in danger of being eaten or damaged by cows and sheep and goats. I raise my seedlings in just normal sugar bags that you can buy really cheap here in the village and make a little slit there to allow the roots to um, go through the bag even though they'll probably puncture the bag anyways to keep them from getting stuck at the bottom of the bag. And insert it three fingers away they say to insert the, or to plant the tree from the ear gasket itself.
So there you have it. The tree, the Malina tree is about planted. Just packing the soil down a little bit in the hole uh, left next to the bag. These are fast growing trees anyways, but we'll see uh, what this ear gas does to the speed and health of the tree. And there comes the life, the one liter of water. It'll drain down the ear gas and moisturize the roots. Now that we've planted the tree and added some water to the top of the tube, we'll wait over the next few days and, and add more dirt as it settles. And then for the next year and a half, we'll add one liter of water three times a week and watch this tree grow. That's quite a bit less water than needed for a normal tree planted in a normal traditional manner. So let's wait around and see the results and please stay tuned to Trees in Africa.